Jimmy Stewart was almost your hero, right? And, and, it, and actually, I wanted to see if you could even favor us with one of your Jimmy Stewart impressions. If you're well, Jimmy, Jimmy Stewart was my icon. I did five movies with him. I did Shenandoah, Fire Creek, uh, Mountain Road, uh, Hawkins, Sinners Fella, uh, and so forth. I was doing uh, I was doing Mountain Road. It was about a demolition squad coming out of China, and I played one of his group of soldiers, demolition soldiers coming out of there. And Mr. Stewart, in real life, f flew 23 combat missions in World War II, and uh, came. And while we were up there, uh, an act of Congress, they made gen uh, made uh, Mr. Stewart a general. And so he flew back to Washington while we were shooting on the picture to, to receive his award. And uh, I'm back there. I'm bored. I bore easy. I like I like action. Right. So I called down to room service and I said, uh, room service? And they said, yes. He said, well, this is Mr. Stewart. Yes, this is Mr. Stewart. Let me ask you, uh, do you have any wine? And they said, well, yes, sir, we have one. He said, well, I don't mean just any, any old wine. Uh, French, the French have good wine. He said, yes, we have some very fine French. Send a bottle up to Mr. Best Sweet. Be, uh, make it two. And five minutes later, I had two bottles of very fine French wine. Well, Mr. Stewart came back, and I said, General, <laughs> he wasn't used to that. He just been made general. Right. And he said, yeah, yeah, well, I said, Mr. Stewart, I used your, your, your voice to get two bottles of very fine French wine. Without hesitation, he said, well, who's going to pay for that? And, yeah, God love him. He, uh, That's a dead on to story. He loved, he, he loved for me to imitate him. He pretend, he'd always pretend like he was upset, but he wasn't at all. He wanted me to do it. You know, He would get me in a position where I would have to try to imitate him, you know. Yeah. God love him. He was marvelous. That's great. Total professional. These guys that call themselves mega stars now, you know, they do one movie or they sing one song or they, they're a football, ex-football player or whatever. You know, everybody's a movie star nowadays, but they, they mega stars now put their feet up on the desk when they're being interviewed and they say, I'm a mega star and I can't spell it much less active. You know, back in the old days, they really had to act, you know. We, we, didn't, we didn't really have to uh, use profanity. Now, I'm not approved, you know, because I've, uh, I've done some mean parts in movies. In The Sounder, I was mean. I'm just Rolling Thunder, I was really mean. And I did it played a lot of heavies in the westerns and stuff, you know, but... I never wanted to be a leading man. Universal tried to train me for as a leading man, and I said, "Ah, no, let me be the character man," because I said I'll be still be acting when I'm 80. Well, I'll be 84 next month, and I'm still acting. Right, right, absolutely. And a lot of the leading men are <laughs> long gone. Right, uh, they all lost their hair and their teeth, and <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> thank and God I still got mine.